Have you ever got a chance to read through telecom regulations or statements from TRI? Well, if you had, you would have come across the term active and passive infrastructure. Ever wondered what these terms really mean? Let's hear it from Nikhil Narendran, visiting faculty at Daksha Fellowship in his Daksha Masterclass on Telecom Law and Policy. Active equipment essentially means uh, the active components of the network, which is used for transmitting information like your antennas, your uh, the nodes, switches, etc., are the active network, which are intelligent components of the network. And there are there is a passive uh, element, which is uh, you know civil engineering elect, uh, ways, the right of ways, the ducts, the towers, etc., are passive. Um, it's important to keep in mind this uh, restriction uh, in mind because um, uh, many of the telecom regulations often talk about this, and often from a policy perspective, it's important to keep in uh, mind this distinction because. Um, it's it's when you when you read these regulations, uh, this difference will make a lot of sense.